So ever since they nerfed Arc Titan way back when, and they hit Arc Titan with a bunch of nerfs, like nerfs to Synthos, which kind of hurt Arc Titan specifically, nerfs to Lightning Nades, nerfs to Touch of Thunder, nerfs to pretty much the Thunder Crash, the whole kit, the whole kit, the whole kit and caboodle, it got nerfed. I was like, dude, I don't know if Arc Titan is worth running, but I think I found a bill. Genuinely, a lot of fights are going down to melee engagements because, well, you don't have special limbo. And when you get in close, a lot of people blint by doing enough damage to break shields and just punching you. So, we call this the stand on business bill. This is the don't touch me bill. This the get your hands off me bill. This the come to the streets bill. You get the picture. Let me just go over it. So today we're going to be rocking the feedback fence. Melee hits great armor charge. You take less melee damage while you have an armor charge. Taking melee damage causes you to emit a burst of damaging arc energy that jolts targets, consuming your armor charge, and dealing more damage based on the number of stacks you have consumed. This exotic is low-key kind of goaded, and I don't see it enough, and I think it's actually going to become meta once people start to figure out that this is just don't touch me, like really get your hands off me because you will die. On our class, we want to be rocking Thunder Crash because it's just the best super. Please use it. Use Thruster. I recommend Thruster for movement. You'll you'll understand later. I use Strafe Lift. You can use whatever you want. Seismic Strike also for movement, but you, I guess you can use whatever you want. I like the Storm Grenades because when it is paired with Touch of Thunder, which I'll get into later, you'll understand. Knockout is quintessential. This is the Mike Tyson. Like this is the Mike Tyson upgrade to your fist. You gotta run this just so you can hit people harder. Touch of Thunder is going to make these uh, lightning nades that we have, or storm grenades actually, excuse me, they're going to track. And it is really good for just zoning off people. On your aspects or your fragments, you want to rock feedback so you can deal more melee damage and get hit. Instinct so that you get a double burst of electricity when you get weak. You also want to run resist so that when you're around people, you know, you got some DR, you can take some hits like Mike Tyson could. And you also want to run Spark of Shock. This is just really good because if people are standing around the Storm Nade combined with Touch of Thunder, I mean, they just literally take damage. And you'll see later in some clips that it's just free damage. Armor mods that are really important are the Charged Up mod on the chest piece. This is going to make sure that this is going to make it where you can get an extra armor charge or hold an extra armor charge, which is really imperative because we need armor charges for increased damage. We also want to be running stacks on stacks in our boost. This makes it where when we get one armor charge, we instead get two armor charges. So we just get those high damaging stacks for the Mike Tyson gloves. Pretty, pretty easy and really simple. Last but certainly not least, we need time dilation so that we can make those armor charges last a little bit longer. We don't want them being pre-nutted. And we also want powerful attraction so that when we use thruster any nearby orbs we just automatically pick them up i also recommend that you rock recoup because it stacks with this in this video you're going to see me use a glaive a lot i use the enigma i use ballistic tuning on mine i also stacked it with accurized rounds for more range impulse amplifier so it can move faster it feels like hit scan unstoppable force so you get more damage after blocking throw a freehand grip mod on it because it's a glaive you're hip firing and voila you got a glaive with a switch on it uh, there's this channel named Shirigato. If you want to see how to use a glaive a little bit better than I do, because I'm not the best, I'll plug her channel in the comments. Trust me, she's the best glaiver in the world. Trust. If a glaive's not your thing, trust me, some people can't use it. I understand. I do recommend lightweight frame shotguns. You want to use this archetype because they don't one shot really well, but you only want to break shields so you can proc knockout and then get the melee so you can get the armor charge. I recommend retro because it has swashbuckler and it'll make the shotgun feel a whole lot consistent after you get the melee kill. Here are my stats just in case a lot of you guys are interested. Also, here's the drip. I know y'all need that. Trust me. I got you. But yeah, this build is crazy. It pretty much makes it where you're Batman and you hit people harder because you need answers and they're not giving it to you or you're mike tyson and you just really don't like people and you know you're never done twaining you could be an animal you're relentless so just use the bill trust me you're gonna love it and it's the only way i can rock art titan now you already know what to do if you enjoy this video run the likes up run the comments up run the subs up you know i'm gonna talk back to you in the comments and tell me what you guys think about this build in the comments let's have a conversation about it without further ado the get your fucking hands off me bill i'll catch y'all later peace jesus christ He punched me and died! <laughs>
Yeah, they're the best heavy weapons in Christmas. Balanced. I'm really getting jumped at C and none of I'm just throwing here. my fucking That's hands, crazy. bro. I'm throwing oh, these hoes. I'm getting my ass handed to me at fucking Charlie. Get your hands off me, cuz. I think I'm having so it much fun. Time. Walk. Someone come punch me. Why am I I'm gonna... He hit me. <laughs> no, bro. I get to play like a bot titan just running with my fucking fist. Come on, come on, drop the whale. Get your fucking ass. <laughs> Let me get what he got. Yeah, who next? Who next? A random dot again, bro. Follows. Only one enemy is left. Only one enemy is left. Put them goddamn hands on you. Only one enemy is left. 
taken down. One minute left, my friend. You want some? Come on. The goddamn heavy down, boy. Uh oh. He punched me again. <laughs> Get your hands off me, bro! <laughs> if you wait for this, only one enemy is left. One minute left, my friend. Only one enemy is left. Jay Rabbit, you're dead. 